just looking for the ball, the blocking, the tackling. I'm just looking for everything out there, trying to help the team. We told him if you want to do it, you got to keep, you got to stay focused. And tonight, man, he was focused and ready to go. Tonight we did some good things. Those punts were good. Most of the things out there were good tonight. You know, he's grown up in, in a football house with his grandpa being the only other head football coach here and then me being the head football coach. I mean, he, he could tell you everybody we played in the scores last year. He just loves bullet football. He gets us pumped up and every single week he comes out and tells us what we're doing wrong. I mean, sometimes, you know, Seth can be harsh. She, uh, he expects perfection from us and that's good. He keeps us on our toes. Next week we're playing Pawnee. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be hard. It's going to be... Uh, it's just going to be hard out there. He gives me some advice sometimes. Uh, some, some weeks he's pretty shook up about, about what we're doing. Or uh, the one week he, he, he told us we were going to lose the planes. He was really shook up about planes. But um, he, he's, he puts his two cents in just like his mom does. Do you get nervous when you stand in front of all the players at the end of the game and, and give your speech? Yes, yes, I kind of do. Um, I'm wondering, is it going to be good? Is it going to be good enough? What are the players going to think? I really do get nervous. You guys kept the bucket right. two years in a row. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. We do miss out on a lot of time, so this is a special thing that, that he gets to do, and, and I just can't say enough about how much he loves this. It's a cool thing, and, and I'm glad he likes it because it's a huge part of our lives. I don't bug him that much because I know he's working on the game, trying to get the players to do their best, and it's a hard job being a football coach for the Winslow Bullets.